Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can turn something like this, a brush stroke that's got fairly thick lines, into a sort of thinner line version. Now you can use this in CC 2014, CC, CS6, etc. Now I've got a marquee around that. That's because basically to, to actually define that area as a brush stroke, you can go edit and define brush preset. Also, I can actually apply the filter in that selection as well. So I'm just going to go to filter, other, and maximum. Um, basically what you do, you can actually change, you can go for a round, squareness actually just removes it completely very quickly, but with roundness you can actually just make it a lot thinner line, so you can just see it just get a bit thinner, 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 and virtually obviously you go about six, it will just completely vanish. But about 4.85 is perfect, nice thin lines now. Okay, once you've done that, click OK, and then you can just go edit and define brush preset, click OK, just get rid of that selection now, and there you have it, you've got the brush, nice thin brush instead of the thick, now it would be a nice feature I think in Photoshop to actually be able to uh, sort of thin lines, but obviously if you've got something like this, say this sort of brush stroke, obviously that's not going to be so effective, but I'm just going to go there, select that one, and you can do the same with that as well, filter and other and maximum and that just unfortunately what happens there of course is the line disappeared a bit earlier so you've got the line thin line you've still obviously got this black selection there so it works nicely with strokes but not so convenient with things that have got uh, very strong fills okay hope you found this tutorial of interest